Top 18 Technical Account Manager Interview Questions and Answers Are you a qualified technical account manager looking for a job, or are you seeking a better working environment? This video offers a list of commonly asked interview questions. In addition, we have provided a sample answer for each question. 1. Why are you interested in this role? The interviewer seeks to know what drives your desire to seek this position. State what motivates you to seek this role. Make the interviewer understand your interests and potential. Sample answer. Over the past two years, I have been following closely the progress of your company. You have maintained a lead position because of your excellence in service delivery. I have always desired to work in a company like this one where employees aim to deliver satisfactory services. As I participate in doing so, I'll grow professionally. Besides, your company has a good reputation and I would want to be associated with it as well. I have the skills and expertise needed to execute the duties of this position professionally and is required. 2. What are the roles of a technical account manager? The interview manager asks this question to assess your familiarity with the roles performed by a technical account manager. Demonstrate your knowledge by mentioning the main roles that you will be performing if hired. Sample answer. The roles of a technical account manager include maintaining good relationships with the current clients finding opportunities through which to expand the client base and tackling customer technical needs. He or she builds strong relations with the clientele, understands the goals and needs of potential and future customers, and supports clients to overcome technical challenges and attain their technical goals. Also, he or she should use the understanding of the client's needs and goals to introduce the products and services of a company to them. 3. Describe your daily routine as a technical account manager. Here, the interviewer wants to know whether you know the duties and responsibilities you will be performing on a daily basis. Thus, demonstrate your knowledge by stating several duties. Sample answer. The daily routine of a technical account manager includes addressing clients' technical requests and taking care of all their technical issues, building strong and lasting customer relationships, and keeping track of critical account metrics. He or she communicates progress to internal as well as external stakeholders identifies growth opportunities, manages customer expectations, and strives to offer exceptional customer experience. 4. What are the qualities that a technical account manager needs to be successful? This question is asked to test your familiarity with the qualities of a good technical account manager. State some of the key attributes that he or she needs to be successful. Sample answer. To be successful, a technical account manager should be a problem solver, critical thinker, team player, and experienced in managing multiple projects and stakeholders. This role requires someone who has good communication and interpersonal skills and one who can listen to customers and attend to their needs. He or she should possess good organizational and planning skills. Strong knowledge and experience in using related software is another key quality needed for this role. 5. Why do you feel you are the most suited for this role? The interviewer asks this question to know what makes you the most qualified candidate. Think quickly and provide a convincing answer that will compel the interviewer to hire you. Sample answer. I have worked as a technical account manager for the past seven years. So, I have more than the minimum experience requirement for this role. Most importantly, I have always excelled in my work. In my current workplace, I have emerged as the best employee consecutively for the past two years. Besides, I have a clear understanding of the roles and daily routines of this position. Using my experience and expertise, I believe that I can make a positive and significant impact in this company. 6. Briefly describe your experience. The interviewer wants to ascertain whether you possess at least the minimum experience required for this position. State the years you've been in this field and how your experience will influence your performance. Sample answer. I have worked as a technical account manager for five years. Over this period, I have worked in two firms. In my former workplace, I worked for two years. I helped the company to double its customer base. I achieved this through various ways including understanding the needs of future customers and advising the company to roll out related products. I've worked in my current workplace, for now, for three years and I've excelled in my work. Over the five years, I have gained experience in this role including handling customers properly, understanding and addressing their technical requests and problems, and creating good relationships with them. 7. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this role? 
Here, the interviewer wants to know whether you know the strategies that can make you successful in this role. Besides, this question is asked to assess whether you have the right mindset. Sample answer. A technical account manager needs to have a clear vision and purpose for this role that should support the vision of the company. It is absolutely necessary to set achievable and measurable goals and targets and then work towards achieving those goals. Being passionate in this role is a great recipe for success. When a technical account manager is passionate, his job becomes something that he really loves to do. Also, he should have a customer success mentality. 8. Share with us your greatest achievement. The interviewer asks this question to know what makes you stand out. The intention is to identify the candidate that stands out above the others. Be honest and specific with your answer. Sample answer. My greatest achievement is emerging as the best employee last year. I was at the top of the workforce in terms of exceeding my targets, meeting my goals, and delivering satisfactory service to the sampled clients. Given a chance in this company, I will endeavor to continue with the same spirit. 9. How do you stay motivated in your work? This question is meant to assess whether you're self-motivated. Mention what you do to inspire yourself to continue performing your duties. Sample answer. I read a lot about the developments that are taking place in my field. In particular, I like reading about successful technical account managers. I follow their stories to know the strategies they use to reach where they are. I find out how they overcome daily challenges in the field. This kind of information inspires me to continue doing what I do. Most importantly, I'm always excited and eager to learn and implement new ways of doing things. 10. What major challenges did you face during your last role? How did you manage them? By asking this question, the interviewer seeks to know whether you are a problem solver. Explain a major challenge you experienced and how you solved it. Be sure to provide a convincing answer. Sample answer. When I assumed my last role, I didn't have the purpose-built technology needed to execute my roles, yet I was expected to deliver my duties. My position had just been introduced. So, few seniors understood all that I needed but everyone expected results. I leveraged my communication skills to explain what it takes to deliver my roles effectively. I made them understand that technology is at the heart of my roles, particularly when it comes to understanding customer needs as well as building and maintaining customers' relationships. 11. Describe a time when you failed in this role and the lesson you learned. Failure is not an uncommon occurrence in the workplace. What the interviewer seeks to understand is whether you learn from your mistakes. Mention an instance you failed and what you learned. Sample answer. When I was new in the field of technical account management, I missed out on communicating clearly the needs to my boss. Subsequently, the company ended up creating test products that failed to take off because they were not what exactly customers wanted. I learned the importance of effective communication. Ever since I always ensure to communicate clearly to avoid such occurrences. 12. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? Here, the interviewer wants to know whether you can anticipate possible challenges and come up with the best ways to tackle them in advance. Think quickly about a possible challenge and mention how you'll address it. Sample answer. I foresee the challenge of identifying the needs of some customers who may not have decided exactly what they want. In addition, some clients may be unable to articulate their needs clearly. To overcome this challenge, I will seek to use effective fact-finding techniques including questionnaires, interviews, and research to obtain all the required information from customers. 13. Upselling is one of the crucial revenue a stream that you will be in charge of. Have you ever upsold a current client successfully? How did you achieve the sale? Here, the interviewer is seeking to understand your cross-selling and upselling approaches including your initiative and ambitions. In your answer, demonstrate your sales strategies and provide specific examples. Sample answer. Recently, I introduced one of our long-time customers to our new executive level programs. I requested him to point out what they found more useful concerning our current software. This helped us to bring up how we could upgrade our current software to make it more efficient. I then showed the demo about the product and after a short conversation, I was made a sale. 14. Bringing new business will be one of your roles. Explain to us your process for closing a new client. This is a technical question asked by hiring managers to assess your abilities to convince prospects to buy new services or switch services.
The best strategy of responding to this question is by walking the interviewer through your process for building trust with new customers including closing a deal. Sample answer. When I identify a new client, I always research on the service they are using. I also find what our competitors are offering through their website. This makes it easy for me to develop a package that will attract the client. I then make a call and explain to the client about our product including the offers I have for them. This helps me to win more customers. 15. How would you respond to a potential prospect who says that he is too busy and want you to call again in six months? By asking this question, the interviewer is seeking to know whether you are the kind of candidate who does not give up until they get a yes. In your response, explain how you can convince a prospect that he will be losing out on revenue by waiting for six months to acquire a service from your company. Sample answer. If a potential customer tells me to wait for six months and claim to be busy at the moment, I will professionally explain how our service can help them save time and increase their income in the next six months including how I can help them any other issue they could be having. Additionally, I would also explain how I can help them fill any void they could be having currently in the next six months. 16. If you discover that you are behind in hitting your revenue targets, what steps would you take? Here, the employer is seeking to know your self-identity skills and if you can be proactive if you lag behind on your goals. The best way to answer this question is to explain how you track your progress towards meeting your goals. Sample answer. At the beginning of the month, I always set my goals for that month. I take my time to examine my progress toward achieving those goals every Monday of every week. This helps me to adjust my goals accordingly to ensure that I am on track. I also run revenue reports for myself before the manager asks for them. In case I find that I am behind my goals, I call my clients to check how things are going. If I realize that any of my clients is facing any challenge or is seeking to expand, I commit myself to offer an additional service including enhancing a package to benefit both parties. 17. Take me through the process you use in upselling an existing client. This question is asked to find out your ability to upsell the existing clients. In your answer, demonstrate your techniques and creativity for interacting with existing clients. Sample answer. I seek to know the client's workforce and work streams. I ask several questions to find out whether they are facing any challenges or planning to upgrade their services. If they explain any challenge, I suggest how our company can help them out in fixing the issues. This is how I manage to maintain my clients. 18. What are your major strengths and weaknesses? The interviewer asks this question to evaluate whether you have the strengths required to perform this role and whether your weakness will hinder you from working effectively. In your response, ensure that you speak about how you are working to improve on your weakness. This will demonstrate that you understand your flaws and you are committed to fixing them. Sample answer. One of my strengths is that I pay so much attention to details to ensure that my documents are free from errors. I proofread and review every document before sending it. Even though I consume a lot of time doing this, I always enjoy that I don't miss any deadline. On the other hand, my weakness is that I tend to put a lot of time into one task. However, I have begun making a timesheet allocating time for every activity to enable me to focus on the task in the order of their urgency.